What's going on everybody, it's Royalty, and today I'm bringing you another gameplay commentary, but today we're playing some Modern Warfare 3, and I usually don't post a lot of other Call of Duties, but this is a really good gameplay, uh, we're playing some Domination on C-Town, and I get specialist bonus like three times, I get close to Moab, but eventually choke, and this is me actually recording, so it's not in theater, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this game is theater though. Um, this is recorded. I s I'm starting to record a lot more and doing a lot better gameplay. And it just looks a lot crisper. And again, me shooting bodies in every game that I play. Scumbag me, I always shoot a lot of bodies. And I'm sorry if you can't hear me too clearly or a little bit too well. My audacity is not really working too well. But hopefully, you guys can hear me to the point where you guys don't have to strain your ears if that's a thing anymore. Um, but. Today I'm talking about is the the hardest thing for anyone, I guess you would say, who's trying to get noticed. Anyone who does YouTube or anyone who's trying to get in the competitive scene or in the sniping um, clans or whatever, whatever you're trying to get to and achieve by playing um, this game and posting videos, it's probably the hardest thing to do is trying to get noticed by other people. And what I mean by this is people actually giving you a chance to play with them and and actually giving you a chance to, you know, try to improve yourself. And like for me, I'm trying to I'm trying to get noticed by a lot of the pro players. But I play a lot of GBs. I don't like playing GBs. I hate. I'm actually kind of scared of GBs because I'm scared of losing. I don't know why, but I don't have the passion I used to for a competitive Call of Duty. But it's kind of it's kind of reigniting. Um, I think in Ghost, I will be a lot more happier since that game is mostly looks like for competitive and not really for, you know, sniping in general. I mean, this game looks really fun you know, in a couple of the trailers with sniping. It used to work really good, and then it just stopped, and... Okay, sorry guys, I had to cut the, cut the audio a little bit. It might sound a little bit weird. But, um, as I was saying, I'm trying to get noticed by a lot of pro players. And that's going to take a lot of practice on GBs, trying to get noticed. And then people will eventually, um, talk to me, ask me to do GBs with them. And that's when I really get noticed. That's when I'll be asked to, um, join some clans and stuff. But the road to that is very hard. I think for anyone, if you ask, like, any of the big name YouTubers or, like, competitive players or, like, snipers, they say it's hard to get into this hand. You have to be extremely good or extremely funny to get noticed by people. And what I mean by this is YouTube, people, if you're funny and you post a lot of good content like PewDiePie and I guess a lot of other YouTubers, I don't know, there's one more that I'm forgetting, but like those people, they, they are famous because they're funny and they produce good content videos. And me, I'm trying to get up there. I mean, my commentaries aren't like the best, but my gameplay is pretty good. I do enjoy watching my gameplay, and but sometimes my commentary is so stupid, and I really don't enjoy it. And that's probably what's gonna lead to my kind of not being able to get noticed because my commentaries aren't the best. I don't have the best um, equipment. I have an Elgato, and I just I just need a microphone, and then you guys will see how my channel will start growing after I have that microphone. Cause I will do so many live comments. And I have so many ideas, but I can't do it because, I don't know, it just, to me, I want to have a, like, sound going through my headset, and without that, I kind of get, you know, good gameplays. As you guys see, when I do live comms, I barely do, like, good, barely goes, like, positive or something like that. And I do have to grind for gameplays, but I hate not playing without sound. It really pisses me off. Um... Well, if I have a separate microphone where I can record that and my voice sounds better than my headset, then I will post so many more gameplay commentaries, uh, live comms, all that stuff. And for Ghosts, I'm going to be posting a lot of live comms once I get my microphone, uh, like around Christmas, but that's going to happen in like two, months, two months after Ghost comes out. Pretty sure Ghost comes out in like November or something, November, like something November Tuesday. Um, but hopefully, if you guys are wondering which microphone I can get, I'm gonna get the blue snowball one. It says blue on it. It looks kind of big. It's one that Phase Apex has, um, and it records the sound pretty good. That's why I kind of want to have it. And you'll see me camp attack right here. I'm pretty much a scumbag, and my teammate over there is looking at the 
at the um, tactical insertion too. That's my one of my clan partners. I don't know. I don't know what to call him. Or clan, whatever. I don't care. But um, yeah. So back to the the point where it's really hard to get noticed. A lot of the small YouTubers, it's very hard to get noticed. Even though the 10 10k subscribers. They're, they're still trying to get noticed. I mean, they're still trying to get up there and getting at least to um, 20,000. I have 27 subscribers. I mean, I had 31, and then everyone started unsubscribing because I've been, I've been kind of inactive and then um, sort of inactive. But once I, hit that 50 mark, once I hit that 50 mark, I know that I'm going to keep going. I mean, right now, 27 may not seem a lot, but that's a lot more than I've ever expected. Honestly, I thought I'd only get, like, 23 or like maybe even 15 and 23 I don't know why I chose 23 but it's always a number I get never make a my Twitter 23 followers start off and then um it starts gradually going up and up and up same thing with any uh, other stuff um any social networking 23 and then it starts going up gradually and that's what happened with YouTube also 23 and then it started going up very gradually and once we hit that 50 mark, guys, you will. Like, everyone who subscribed will not be disappointed by the gameplay I will produce in Ghost. And I don't know why, but I have this gut feeling that in Ghost I'm gonna gain a lot more subscribers, just because it's a fresh new game where I can post a lot of my content, a lot of new ideas that people probably haven't seen before. And with when I started my YouTube, I I did stuff that other people did already, and you know it's not fun watching when people do the same thing over and over on the same game doing the same exact thing it's not fun honestly but when you have like, a different new game and that kind of relates to why I post Mono for 3 right now is that it's different you know right now you can see me go totally off the ACR most um, overpowered gun in my opinion on this game that and the MP7 I think the ACR in like, every game is probably the most overpowered game but um it does kind of ruin the game but um, anyways, stuff like that can really boost up your channel. Like, if you guys don't know who TBNR Frags is, he, um, he's a PC player, he's really good, and his channel completely blew off Modern Warfare 3 because he kept getting Moabs and those gameplays, they were fast action pace on PC, and people like watching that kind of crap. Well, not kind of crap, but that kind of gameplay. I didn't mean to um, call it the same crap. But, um, that kind of gameplay people enjoy watching, that's why. Um, this game is kind of fast, fast action pace, playing some domination, I'm seeing a lot of kills rapidly, and I kind of miss all my shots right there, but, um, stuff is going on rapidly, you know, there's not a lot of slow pace, like, kind of black up to, very slow pace to me, Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2, very fast pace action game, which I do enjoy a lot, I love MW, probably my second favorite game, Modern Warfare 3 is probably my favorite, it's kind of hard to decide because of that, because Black Ops 2 was very good too, and also this game is really good, but the ACR, what I'm using right now, and then the also kind of killed it, sort of specialist, and so did sit rep, just like awareness in Black Ops 2, stuff like those kill the game, patches kill the game, um, especially killed Black Ops 2, as you can see, I completely just stopped my momentum for sniping because that one patch, it stopped a lot of people from winning um, tournaments because they weren't sure how to use, like, what gun to use. Because I remember one in one of the events the week before, they patched, like, the MSMC and the PW again for, like, the third straight time. And then it just completely screwed every pro player up because they didn't know whether to use the PDW or not. And before that patch, PD was, the PDW is actually pretty good. Um, didn't have that much recoil, but PW in like the first week of Black Ops 2 was the greatest. Um, yeah, so we're kind of wrapping up on the gameplay. We need a couple more points to win this. I think it's like a minute left, and you guys want to know what class we're running? I think I'm running just the ACR with Focus, Red Dot, Sleight of Hand, Quick Draw, and then Marksman, and then I Specialist, Scavenger, Assassin, Sit Rep, and then yeah. You know, all that good kind of stuff, and then uh, the 44 Magnum with Attack Knife, basically like a uh, competitive class. I remember watching MW3, people used to use Extreme Conditioning, Quick Draw, and Dead Silence. But I used Marksman. 
anyways guys, if you enjoyed this, if you guys want to see more one of the three, please leave it in the comment section below. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay, facts, action, taste, and I might have to post some more old, older cards, because honestly, Black Ops 2 is getting very boring. Uh, see you guys later. Hope you guys have a good day. My name is Royalty. I'll see you guys later.